Yo, yo, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Big Dirty. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing so well. Thank you so much for asking. You guys, this is a bonus video for you. This is not a reaction. Well, possibly a reaction for from, from my own experience, but I'm not reacting to anyone. I'm sure you'll see a few of my face expressions that you've seen before, um, but I am here for a story time. I know. Would you look at that? We're getting closer, you and I, uh, but uh, this is a story from my travel abroad, and now I will be giving my objective experience and opinion about a specific country. I've had many people that say that this country is lovely. Unfortunately, that was just not the experience for me. So, solo female travelers, take that into consideration when you're going out there, but I feel like solo female travelers should always take a little bit more precaution than our counterpart males. All right, you guys, let's just get into it. You guys know that I have been in Asia for the past year, and so this happened in not this past year's trip, but a trip right before that. I was also in Asia. I was, uh, it was the first time for me in Thailand, so it was between the fall of 2022 and the um, winter, so or spring technically, of uh, 2023. So this actually happened in January of 2023. It was the first week of January. I was in Thailand. I had no plans of going to Vietnam. And that's where it happened. It was I had no plans of going to Vietnam. Now, I know the majority of my audience is from the US. So if you need to look at a map to figure out where Thailand is and Vietnam is, I understand. Like we're American, I get it. Listen, you guys, it's 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 a known fact that Americans are really bad at geography. So like I'm going to give you a minute to google that real quick. Anyway, um, I met a group of lovely people at the hostel. I was staying in Chiang Mai in the north of Thailand and they were all going to Vietnam and they were like, all you do is apply for a visa. It takes, it's very quick and then you'll get your, um, it'll get approved and you just go. And I was like, cool. You know, I've heard amazing things about Vietnam. Let's freaking do it. I went ahead, boop, 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 got it. My visa came back before a bunch of uh, people that I was with, actually, which was really funny because I just I didn't expect it to come back that fast. And so, and when you get the visa, you have to go. It's not like you can wait a little bit and it's upon entry. It's upon when it is granted to you. So you only have 30 days in Vietnam. And so I was like, all right, well, I'm going and I'll meet you guys in the north in Hanoi. It's a, um, it's a northern city. And the idea was we wanted to do the Ha Jong Loop, which is we get on motorcycles and we it's like a four day loop in the mountains, even further up than Hanoi. So it's very cold, but very beautiful. And it was actually stunning. Anyway, back to what happened. I get there and I get to Vietnam. And in general, my impression on Vietnam was the people are very intense and very loud and somewhat a little bit rude, but I'm used to cities and I've been a traveler my whole life. I I moved around so much when I was a child, so I've been interacting with so many different cultures, and it wasn't new to me. It wasn't so much of a culture shock to be around, um, you know, such a, a little bit more of an aggressive culture in comparison to the Thai people. So I was like, okay, you know, let me, I was like, whatever. So I, I get there, and as soon as I got, I landed, it was in the evening, it was around 6 p.m., and I order of there is an application called Grab, which is really funny if you think about the irony of this, right? The the application is called Grab, and it's essentially Uber, but for Asian. It's so cheap, you guys. It was so cheap. Like if you want to get somewhere, it's like two dollars, something like that. Mind you, I get there, and I have no cash. And I'm the type of traveler that doesn't do a lot of research before I go places. But this experience taught me because, ooh, oh my god the stress that this situation put me in. So I essentially look and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to order a grab from the airport. It should be safe. Um, and I've gotten warned a lot about the petty theft and the scams from the airport around the airport in Vietnam in general. So I kind of had an idea of, I've heard about a lot and, you know, I'm, I'm quite aware, but I didn't do enough research, I would say, into Vietnam as currency and culture and all that stuff. I'm very much of like a blind traveler, which is not, I don't suggest doing it that way. I've lucked out. I mean, kind of, but yeah, I've, 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 I've survived, but definitely take a look into which culture you're going to and the social norms and what the currency is and all that. I was wild in you guys. Comes, I, he gets out of the car, puts my luggage in the back, 
And I, it's chilly, right? So Thailand's very warm, but I'm now in the north of Vietnam, so it's quite chilly. And I have, and I, I'm, this is, again, because I knew there was a lot of theft. I had put, um, usually when you're traveling, you want to get a bag. I'm trying to find where mine is. Mine is over there. But it's like this, like, stra- like a like a bag that is in the front, right? And I had it on my chest, so he couldn't, no one could see it. And then on top of that, a jacket that was zipped up, so no one could see that I had any money or a wallet on me or anything like that. But always it was on the, it was on my chest in front of me. So never any valuables on my back or no pockets. I was always in leggings. You guys know I love my leggings. So, you know, it was, it was that kind of, um, it was, it was always that, you know. So I get in, he gets in and off we go and he starts asking me where I'm from. And this was my first mistake. So mistake number one. I told him I was American. Biggest mistake that I could make in Vietnam. Anyone can make in Vietnam, especially if you're a female solo traveler, is to say that you're American. You never, ever, ever want to say you're American. Canada, 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 Canada. Immediately, he was like, I knew, I knew when I said it, I was like, oh shit, because he got real excited. I said, "Uh (laughs) uh-oh. So at this point, he's like, oh, I love the USA. USA is great, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, all right, cool, cool, cool. And I'm on my phone. I'm texting. I'm texting one of my guy friends who's still in Vietnam. He was waiting to get his visa approved. And so I'm texting him. And before I know it, so I'm, I'm texting like this. And then all of a sudden, my phone gets snatched out of my hand. Now, at this point, we're no longer in the airport. There was like a gate that we passed through and he had to pay like a toll to get on the highway. And now we were on the highway and he has my phone. And again, mistake number two, being on my phone when I was at night, you know, with a driver that I'm not aware of. I was like, oh, right. Like, here we go. Immediately. I was like, all right, we're, we, we, we about to rumble, you know. And then he does something on my phone and gives it back to me. At this point now, he's not speaking any English. It's just Vietnamese, and he's just yelling at me. And I'm like, what the hell is going on, right? And I'm a little tired, you know. I had a full day of traveling and immigration and getting in there. And it's 6 p.m. It's dark now. I don't know anything. All I know is we're headed on a highway. And I was like, and I saw what he did is that he canceled the ride from my phone. So these are called grab scams from the airport. I've heard about this, right? But that's usually all they do. They like, they want your money. And he starts yelling at me that he wants 20,000 Vietnamese dong is what he asked for. And I said, ooh, 20,000. I must be, I must be expensive cargo. Ooh, they going to call up Biden and be like, we have an American, like blah, 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 blah. She wants, we want 20,000 for her. And I was like, I kept telling him, I don't have any, I don't have any money on me. I don't have any cash. Because I truly didn't have any cash, which is why I ordered the grab. And he starts, so I'm, y'all, I've I've never been yelled at through Google Translate. So he was yelling at me, like, mind you, just, we are, I mean, picture this, we are on the highway, we're driving real fast, he's now yelling at me, I mean, I'm not about to jump out of the car, I'm I'm assuming he's going to pull over at some point, then I can get out or something. And all the doors are locked. Right. So he's yelling at me. He's yelling at me. I immediately I'm like, okay, I'm gonna let you do you. You can yell all you want. And he's saying 20,000, 20,000, 20,000 on on the Google Translate thing. He keeps like showing it to me. And I was like, that's a lot of money in my head. Like, I don't know. I don't have any money on me like crap. So I I call my friend who's in who's in Thailand, excuse me. And I'm telling him, listen, I'm this is what happened. This is where I'm at. I'm gonna leave my location open for you, because if you never see me again, you need to let my mom know where I'm at, you know. Uh, and he pulls over eventually to this like remote area. Like there's, it's like off the highway a little bit, really nothing there. There's aren't a lot of people around nothing and it's dark. And then he just turns around now gives me his full attention, right? Like turns around and starts yelling at me. And I'm just like, okay, how much is 20,000? So I Google real quick. How much is 20,000? Y'all. I thought 20,000 was going to be like a hundred bucks at least, right? At least like I have organs, you know what I mean? Like I'm a whole person. I have working organs, not just organs that are like a day old because I've been dead. No, they're working. They're functioning. There's oxygen running through them. Like he wanted 79 cents, y'all. 
he wanted 79 cents. I didn't have anything on me, but when I say, I, I, I actually wanted to be like, my good man, could you up the price a little bit? Because I can't be calling the U.S., calling my mom, calling us, be like, well, what is he asking for? I'm going to say 79 cents. I said, could you, could you please, like, can we, can we just round up to a dollar? Like, let's, McDonald's Happy Meals can't be more expensive than that. Come on, man, that's insulting. Like, I know, I know Vietnamese people don't like brown people. Like, that's a very known thing, you guys. I'm not just saying that. It's very true. And they don't like Americans. And I got the two for, I got, I got the combo for that, you know? But, come on now. Like, I got organs you can sell in the black market. It's got to cost a little bit more than 79 cents. There are items at the dollar store more expensive. It was insulting. Like, it was so insulting. I said, we need to work on your business skills, you know? Did he go to business school? You know? Like, the, the gas he's paying to just run around and, and act a fool like this isn't, isn't worth 79 cents. You know? So. You probably, you guys are probably asking, like, what the hell is going on now, right? We are now parked on the side of the road. I'm shocked at how little he's asking. He's still screaming at me. Mind you, I know you're probably like, we'll be dirty. You know, you do boxing. You've been going to the dojos. You've been in Thailand in them camps. Like, why don't you throw the one-two, the one-two? And the thing is, now I could because I'm above this this man's weight class. Let me tell you, how, how do I say this? I'm not making fun here, y'all. This is very true. It's accurate. Being these people are tiny. They are small. When I tell you this, man, I could have easily picked him up like this. Kind of like Leo. Kind of been like, what's going on here? Who do you think you're talking to type of situation? I definitely towered him. Like, they are, they are small and they're narrow. Not all of them, but most of them. Uh, it is what it is. Don't at me, you guys, all right? That's just what, that's just how they built. And the only reason why I wanted to do everything but escalate is because I'm in Vietnam, a brown American in Vietnam. No, in no scenario is the cops being called going to be a good thing in my favor. I don't care what I say. I don't care if he pulled out a knife on me. He trying to kill me, whatever. I'm going to get, I'm, it's going to be put on me. I wasn't trying to escalate it to that point. So what did I do? Also, he was acting very sporadic. He was like back and forth, back and forth. Saying that he, everyone loves him, say, asking me why I'm, why I don't love him, all all in that, all in the in the in the um, what is that? The translator. I mean, he's yelling at me. I don't know what he's saying. He's very aggressive. He's very agitated. So I'm like, I'm sure he's on drugs or something, right? I'm not trying to escalate. I'm chilling in the back of the car. Everything's locked. I'm like, all right. My friend is on the phone, right? I have my location turned on. I'm just thinking, I just need to, I need to ride this out. I need to keep talking to him. So I start saying, I love Vietnam. Vietnam is the great, greatest. Vietnam is the best. It's fantastic. Blah, 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 this stuff. Try to get him to chill out a little bit. He was refusing to open the door to let me out. He was refusing to get me to get my luggage. I don't know what, what, what was going on with him. It took me about two hours for me to convince him to open the doors. Y'all, two hours of me just sitting there. So right now it's rolling around like nine o'clock, maybe three, like nine o'clock, right? We just sitting there. Leo, stop it. So gross. Can you stop? I don't know if y'all got... Do all dogs do this? It's driving me crazy. Why are you licking yourself, bubs? Huh? What you doing, bubs? Anyway. Ooh, stinks. Um, but... I'll move the mic right here. Hopefully you guys don't hear him licking. Um, but Leo, stop it. Sorry, you guys. Um, so... Then he, he basically finally lets me out because I'm convinced him that the money, now mind you, my money's on my chest, remember, but he can't see it because I'm, I got my zip up on, thank God. And, um, I don't have any cash though, that's, that's true, like I don't got cash anyway, but I don't want him seeing that I have a, a, a bag, like I, I don't, I don't want, I don't need that already in this situation. So I essentially have him open up the back, I get my luggage, and I book it. Like, I just start walking on the highway. On the highway, excuse me. This man, y'all, this man gets in his car and tries to run me over. Pause. 
That's crazy. It was insane. It was something out of a movie. I was like, what the fuck? I hop up on the sidewalk. Like, he's trying to get his car up on the sidewalk. Like, he's pissed. I don't even know what you can get for 20000 For eight, for 79 cents in Vietnam. Like, maybe a couple of dumplings. Like, dang. Like, that's what I mean. Like, that shit was crazy. I was like, dang, you really don't like brown women. Damn. All right. So, then, I was like... This is getting ridiculous. Let me just find an ATM and give him a dollar so he could just leave me the hell alone. I get to an ATM. He's following me with a car. And I just, I'm stressed out. I'm not going to lie to you guys. My adrenaline was through the roof. My anxiety was really high. I was stressed out. On my way, I ran into some Vietnamese person. I was trying to ask for help, trying to describe the situation to him. And he didn't care at all. Like, they don't care. They really don't care. Like, Vietnamese people, they're not going to help you. They're just like, "Mm, whatever you on your own. Again, especially American, brown like clearly a tourist. So, um, yeah. So then I get to an ATM, withdraw money. The biggest note I had was I think 50,000. So the, excuse me, the smallest note I had was 50,000. So there wasn't like a 20,000 that I could just give him, right? The smallest note I had was 50,000. I gave him the 50,000. You guys will not believe what he did. He wanted to give me change. I said, what? Mind you, now we're pushing like four hours, five hours, right? Because I know I'm like giving you guys like a quick summary of what happened, but this shit was stretched out. When I tell you he wanted to give me change, I almost could not believe it. I was like, I'm sorry, sir. I'm giving you, you're about to kill me over 20,000 dong. I gave you more than double that. Just take it and go. Then... It gets even crazier, y'all. It gets, I swear, this is, I'm never going to forget this. He tells me he wants me to get back in his car. And so he can take me to the hostel. (laughs) That is my life. I was like, I couldn't believe it. I was like, what? He was like, and he's like, why you don't love me? Why you don't love me? And he was like, and he put in the translator that everyone loves him, everyone that he writes with. And I'm just like, is you gaslighting me right now? Like, he was like, he wrote, he was like, y'all, I said, this is crazy. Imagine being in a relationship with this man. I would lose my mind. He started gaslighting me. He was like, why don't you love me? Everyone that loves me, I take you, I take you to, I take you hostile, I take you now. And then he starts blaming me for the fact that the ride took five hours. And he was like, I'm very busy. I have a lot of, I have a lot of uh, driving. And I'm like, you could have left, let me go. Like the gaslighting was top tier. This man, he did not go to business school, but he went to clearly... Uh, what is that? Uh, <laughs> steal your girl. Steal your girl school. That was crazy. Y'all, when he started gaslighting me, I was like, come on, boy. I mean, compared to my ex, it was amateur. But we're not here to talk about my ex, you guys. That's another story. Um, also, a, a level of a psychotic. But um, let me know if you want to hear uh, Tinder or, well, not Tinder. I don't use Tinder anymore. Uh, hinge or past relationship, funny experiences and not so funny experiences. Let me know. But, um, yeah, whoo, that was y'all. When I tell you that was, that was something else. Like I never, ever, ever experienced that. What did you do? What did you, you guys are asking me what I did. I walked back to the airport. I walked back to the airport. It took me like almost two hours. And then I got back in there. I sat down. I went to the bathroom And, like, my adrenaline was so high. My adrenaline was, like, insanely high. I just remember being, like, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know if I wanted to stay or if I wanted to go. Like, I was thinking of taking a flight back to Thailand. And surprisingly, I stuck it out. I stayed. I got a taxi that took me, a taxi, not not a grab, a taxi from the airport that took me straight to the hostel. This time I got to the hostel, I was like, ooh, your girl needs a drink. Like, and I don't drink. <laughs> That's the crazy part. <laughs> you know? And, um, and yeah. Got in there. Told the people. Not, Im- immediately everyone in the hostel. Although they're travelers. Like, they said hi to me. And that's what happens when you're in the hostel. Like, you just talk with everyone. And I told them what happened. And they were like, you know what they told me? 
even something even more terrifying than my experience. They said a girl that was staying at the hostel a few nights prior, this 19-year-old girl, she it was her first solo travel trip. Oh my gosh, what a babe, right? Like such a sweetheart. And she was walking around during the day in Hanoi and she had someone come up. I mean, it's all it's all Google um, scooters in Vietnam. Everyone rides a scooter, right? And so someone came up behind her with a scooter, popped her over over the head with a glass bottle. Now she's on the floor bleeding. They took all her stuff. No one would help her. Nobody would help her. Crazy, right? And I was like, thanking God, because knowing that that could have happened and my situation, that was all that happened to, with me. You know, aside from it being insultingly low with the monetary price that they put on me, I was like, come on now. How dare you? Um, <laughs> um, that was like, I really lucked out. I really lucked out. Like, I definitely have a guardian angel with me on these travels because Lord knows I have been in some risque situations. Um, crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Insultingly low, you guys. Like, what? Come on now. Like... Come on now. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad I'm all right. And I'm really sad for that other girl, to be honest. But uh, I think I think she'll grow from it. And hopefully it'll make her feel like she could be brave enough to tackle other countries. But, yeah, I got through Vietnam as fast as I could. I'm not going to lie to you. And I don't think I'll be returning. Um, it's such a shame, though, because I've heard everyone say such wonderful things about it. I just didn't have that experience. Like, I just didn't. And, um... I think maybe I would go back if I was traveling with a partner and that's what I'm like trying to find someone right now to travel with. Like, it'd be great. And this is what I mean by as a woman, like it's so much more difficult. Every man I met that said he's been to, they've been to Vietnam aside from maybe two or three said they absolutely loved it. Whereas female solo travelers that I met was maybe 50, 50 down the line. It's just being a guy is so much easier when it comes to traveling and being on your own. It's just like, Everything is just, it's just easier. Like, it just, I don't know how to explain it. Like, you, you're not, you're not going to, no, no grab driver is going to do that to a male. Like, it's just not going to happen. What happened in Vietnam with me? That It's not going to happen. Because he knows he can easily get his ass whooped. And I mean, I could have whooped his ass. But like I said, I don't want to put myself in that situation. I was trying to de-escalate. I think I did a good job. Um, But yeah. Let me know what you thought about this. Uh, I, 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 I am considering again. The only time I think I would go back is if I was dating someone and we, and, and, uh, uh, clearly a man, um, very straight, um, and we were going together. That's the only time I would go again because I, I cannot stand it. I remember by the time I only spent, I didn't spend the thirty days because I was so stressed out the entire time I was there. Um, I spent maybe 13 days there and then I went to Malaysia. So, and I love Malaysia. Malaysia is fantastic. But let me know if you've been to Vietnam and what your experience was like. Hopefully it was a lot safer and a lot better than mine. Um, let me know if you've been to Asia or any other country. Give me suggestions if you've traveled to your, for Europe. Um, I'm really interested in like Croatia and um, Albania. And I've heard Albania could be a little dangerous. So let me know. Um, also let me know about countries that you think are so worth going to. I'm very, um, scene, like scenic, scenery, scenic driven. Like I, I love mountains and I, I'm, I'm down for cities, but I'm definitely more attracted to mountains. I love the mountains. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for joining me, you guys on the story time. I have, um, online dating story times if you want. I have a lot of those. Um, and, uh, stories, other stories, uh, this time regarding people that I have met while I was traveling. Um, if you want more story times, but yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Let me know what your thoughts are. Oh, I forgot. Check out my socials below. Um, come through on Instagram on OnlyFans. I post extra reactions. So here I have reactions and then I post either longer reactions or, um, reactions that have been blogged because it's like, I guess not suitable, um, and, um, uh, or demonetized. So please go through there and support me. I also do vlogs and just kind of like talking like what I'm doing here. So it's just a platform for you guys to get extra content. Thank you so much for everyone that's already been supporting me over there. You guys are the best and also check out the rest of my socials. And now I'll catch you next time. Bye.